Hey everybody, it's Taz. Welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today we're gonna break down yet another Wig Pro style. I am presenting to you today Alexis in two colors. Both of the feature wig styles were sent to me by Wig Pro in cooperation with Wig Studio One. If you look below the video in the description box, I will attach links to this particular wig style so you can take a look at colors and pricing. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. Also, Wig Pro styles are an automatic 30% off at Wig Studio One while the promo lasts. Alexis by Wig Pro, as you can see here, is a short, flirty, little sleek bob style. It has a modern flair with a little bit of angle and lots of really cute layering. In this series of reviews, Wig Pro is sending me a variety of colors. So today I have a blonde and a brunette to show you here on Alexis. The first color we're gonna take a look at here is a gorgeous blonde, very highly dynamic. It's 2780R8. Now sometimes descriptions can be a little bit deceiving and so can the color swatches online. And you know, I think the manufacturers do the best that they can, but you know, there's just nothing like seeing it up close on camera, right? Or seeing it in action. So this 2780R8 is described as being a light strawberry blonde, a light to medium strawberry blonde, and then that's highlighted with more of a gray blonde and all of that on a medium brown root. Now, I do wanna point out that I was surprised to see the description including gray, um, but I really feel like it's really pulling as a platinum on this particular color. So let's take a closer look. So that medium strawberry blonde is just like a medium gold with some strawberry hints to it. It's a warm, light reddish gold color, but then it is so heavily highlighted with this uh, light gray blonde. What I think that they have done is they have just taken a platinum blonde and kind of toned it down a little bit with more of a violet type toner that does give uh, more of a grayish, very cool appearance. Let's just call it cool because I'm really not seeing any gray in it. But that highlight of that gray blonde shade is really, really taken over this color. So overall, I believe this is a neutral to warm light blonde. Okay, and all of that is on a medium brown root. It's done very, very well. There's no brassiness to that root and there's no uh, odd magenta tones or anything to contend with. It looks very natural. I am really impressed with the layering of color that Wig Pro is designing. I think they do an amazing job of combining some cools and some warms to give us a nice, neutral, broadly appealing color. Well, I think Alexis is a really super cute bob style, don't you? Short bob, very easy to wear. It looks really cute with some uh, turtlenecks for upcoming season. And I'll make sure I pull the turtleneck down so you can get a good sense of all of these measurements here. That front piece is gonna be around five to six inches. There's a lot of layering here. And so that first piece is gonna strike you probably around cheek level. And then the six inches is going to come around a little bit further, depending on your measurement. I'm six and a half from hairline to chin. So that gives you an idea of how it might a fall around your face. The key thing here is that no matter what face shape you have uh, or what uh, size of face that you have, I believe the fringe around the face is just super modern and flattering. Lots of layers, it's been taken down a little bit, it's really nice and wispy. Now in the back, we're looking at about a nine inch, nine inch crown on the back and about 10 inches overall, because that goes right down into a little bit of beveling there on the nape. And I would say that nape probably measures around two and a half inches, just from my experience. And then a little bit of stacking and beveling. 
there's a longer layer on the sides, which creates a little bit of an angular A-line effect here. And because of that, you're always going to see a little bit of forward movement on those angles. So a little bit of forward movement in those layers. So what you're going to see in the front, though, is that the layers kind of push back into the style, but then on the sides and back, they kind of wrap around. That also really uh, enhances the layering around the face. This style weighs just over two ounces, I think 2.3, something like that. Super lightweight on. It's just hardly even noticeable on my head. I really love these cap features, though. Lots of beautiful monofilament lace. We're talking about a full lace front and single monofilament top. Now these features are hand tied, meaning each one of the knots go in one at a time. Uh, it helps it move a little bit more independently rather than having a permatease top where the hair tends to move all at once in one direction. So I love the wispy natural movement on this. Let's get up close on the lace features. Now the knotting seems to be really fine on this. You can see it's kind of uniform in terms of a contour, um, but it looks like they have left a little bit of knots out there every, one, every other one or so at the front, giving it a nice natural look. And then what you're going to see though, and I think it's actually more obvious on the other one because I think the other one isn't quite as thickly threaded on the top as this one but there is a single seam adjoining that full monofilament, single monofilament top. So you can part it wherever you like. What you need to know right out of the box is that it falls flat on the forehead. You can sweep it off to either side. So there's really no contour at all on this. So I just kind of rake it back with my fingers and that gives a little bit of maybe lift at the front, but it doesn't stay long. And to be honest with you, I think that it's really meant to kind of hug the forehead to just to accentuate the sides. As of the date of this filming, the price on uh, the retail price on this style is around $300. And now with Wig Studio One, you can still get your automatic 30% off at checkout. And that really does set this style apart from some of the more expensive brands with similar styles. I'm thinking about the Raquel Welch's real deal is about 50 more dollars than this one. Um, Ellen Villa has some that are 50 to 100 dollars more for the same features. Okay, so now I'm gonna put up an unboxing of Alexis. I have it in a beautiful light brunette. The color is eight. 1088H. We're going to get into that here. So all of the typical packaging that you would expect uh, by Wig Pro that we've examined so far in this review series. They always do a great job packaging the wig styles. I've just never seen uh, any kind of sloppiness with their packaging. Always well done. The nets, the tissue paper, the hang tags, all accurate here. So what you may notice is a little bit of a translucent uh, look to that lace front initially until you move a little further back in the style. And I think that's to make a more natural look from the front. The knots are a little finer there. They are interspersed a little, little less dense at the hairline. And as they move back, they're a little more dense. And then you have the, uh, the closed ear tabs, the extended nape, the Velcro adjusters, just a super well done cap here. And I consider it to be very high quality comparing it to other name brand styles. So now we're just gonna shake it out and set those fibers free before I apply the wig style. I'm gonna remove the tags and go ahead and apply it. Now right away, you're gonna see that that front bang piece, that five to six inch bang, just kinda of wants to flop down over the eyes. And that's the same thing that I experienced with the color, uh, the blonde shade that I have and you can easily brush it off to one side or the other. So one big variance that I am noticing here between these two styles is that this particular light brown shade has a less, less density in it. Um, I would say probably 25 to 30% less fiber in this brown one. Now there's plenty for, up for coverage, but um, you're gonna notice that at the lace front and the monofilament 
that seam is quite visible through the fiber on the top and you'll just have to use some strategic styling or parting in order to obscure that. And on the rooted blonde shade, I just didn't have that effect. So I'm gonna just experiment with it here. Liven up those layers, work with it around the face. So here is that 81088H. So a couple of things. Um, in the unboxing, you may have noticed, and I didn't notice until I rewatched the tape, but the right side of that wig had some stray longer hairs in it. Uh, right there, it kind of looped under the chin, and I thought, well, gosh, maybe that's just a part of the angle or something when I was applying it. But when I got it in front of the mirror, I quickly noticed that it was uh, a little bit of a defect, that that had a little bit of an extra piece there. So all I did, I took out my blending shears and I just cut it off. I just sawed it right off there to match the, uh, the length of the fiber around it. So it's no big deal. These are things that you can encounter from time to time. It happens all the time <laughs> with my bell dress. I just have to give it a little bit of a snip. Um, anyway, that's what I did. I just gave it a snip to bring it up to the length of the other fiber. And then I do want to point out the uh, the density here, the very fine density at the front and on the top leaves that seam very visible there. So you can pull some hair over and easily, easily obscure it. But there's just nothing like a mono top for a nice natural look from the top. Let's break down this color, 81088H. Uh, there's a base color of a combination of a light chestnut brown and more of a medium golden brown. Okay, so overall it's leaning warm. And then you're going to add in some pale gold blonde highlights. The highlights are very fine and well blended throughout the style. And those highlights just give this color a little bit of pop because a lot of times a light brown can be rather mousy and plain without some sort of highlight. So you're not getting any big, dramatic, stripey looking highlights on this color because it is not rooted. So I do love how it frames the face and then it's extremely tuckable, which is always great for a little bob like that. It kind of accentuates a little bit of beveling in the back. some dangly earrings. But I still think that on either of these pieces, you can really fluff up just a bit of volume. Even on the top. And there is some permatease around that monofilament, not a heavy pillowy presence of permatease, just a fine layer all the way around, really none at the nape or the temple. But that'll... The beauty of styles like this is that it, they don't need a whole lot of styling. You can just fluff them up with your fingers, do a simple ear tuck, and you're out the door and you look like a million bucks. 
it really is very modern and sleek and put together, but with just a little bit of interest around the face. I love it just the way it is. But we're gonna mess around with this style a little bit so you can get a sense of the movement, be inspired to uh, just wear it in different ways. It works really well with glasses. I'll do a demonstration of that. Everybody have a wonderful day. We'll see you again soon on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.